when we tried to look for a rental truck to move our stuff from Washington to Texas, there were about 12,000 to 15,000. But if we picked it up in Boise, Idaho, it'd be about 3,800. The problem was there were so many people moving out of Washington that they had a shortage of trucks. So we booked a flight to Boise to fly in, pick up the truck, drive it to Seattle, pack up our stuff, and then drive it back down to Texas. On the way to the airport, we got alerts saying that our flight was delayed. Then it was delayed again. We finally boarded the plane, and then the captain gets on the loudspeaker and says, we have to depart the plane because we're delayed again. As soon as I hear something official, I will pass it along to you. You're joking, right? We are now moving to uh, gate Alpha 9. The federal mask mandate remains in place for air travel due to the latest TNC guidelines. All travelers must continue to wear a mask over the nose and mouth during the duration of their journey. The failure to comply with the mandate may result in penalties under federal law. You may not be able to fly with this in the future. Need a mask for your journey, please see where you're at gate. It's still filling up. Do you have a uh, salsa packet? Yeah. We took Uncle John's advice. He wanted to avoid the pass going back the way we just came from Boise. Right so, yeah, get over. Yeah. So, we headed south down in Oregon instead. In two 
miles. Take exit 22 for I-84 East, US 30 East toward the Dells. Continue on I-84 East for 95 miles. Driving the 26 foot Penske truck, you know, it was sort of similar to driving in video games. You just put your foot to the pedal and drove. You really had no control of the speed. No, sideways. The truck drove itself. You just had to put the pedal to the metal if you wanted to go anywhere. We took turns driving back and forth. When one was driving, the other would try to take a nap. That was another thing. It's called what? King Hill. You didn't read it on Glenn's ferry sign?
going straight up like a rocket. Yeah. Yeah, something just flew under it. The window's dirty and he keeps trying to focus on the window instead. Every time I try to get it, the zooms in on that. After dealing with the airport fiasco, driving non-stop, crossing eight state borders, we were happy to be back in East Texas. I think our animals were happy we were back too. <laughs> the drive was long, but the scenery was amazing, giving the trip something beautiful to remember it by. The truck drove a lot nicer than the U-Hauls or budget trucks I'd rented previously, but the governor limiting our speed and the elevated cost of gas allows little to be desired. Maybe we'll drive it again, but if we do, I'd rather take my time to enjoy the majestic views and drive something other than a 26-foot Penske moving truck. But until then, I think we're content watching the beautiful Texas sunset we get to enjoy every night from our new home. Paid off, debt free, and ours. God bless Texas.